we've reached the end of the front end part of this course. Hopefully for all you back end devs, that wasn't too tedious and lengthy. I tried to move pretty quickly through the things that I don't think would matter very much to a Node.js dev like the CSS and much of the front end JavaScript. Although we did a bunch of Node.js work, setting up the new handlers, modifying the server to be able to serve static assets like images and CSS and JavaScript files and favicons from the file system, we actually didn't use any new modules in this section. We just continued to use a lot of the modules that we were already doing, things like console, things like the file system. We used FS a lot when we were reading in the content of the templates. We used it again when we were reading in the content of static assets in order to serve them. And reading in these assets meant we were in some ways using buffers. And so well, although we didn't need to require the buffer module, we were creating and using buffers quite a bit. And we were also using path quite a bit in order to normalize the paths to our public directories in order to figure out how to read in those static assets and normalize paths to our templates folder, etc. And of course, we used many globals and some other modules that we didn't explicitly need to require. In the next section, in which we'll be building a command line application, we're actually going to jump in to a bunch of new node modules that we haven't seen yet in order to build out that command line interface. So without further ado, we can move on to the next section, which is building a CLI.